wait, 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 like, wait, wait, she's like, okay, he's talking to this, to this girl, he's like, what do you think, she's like, what do you think we should do, and he's like, well, apparently this dollar bill has this little trunk right here, the symbol's over here, that's where we need to go at this time. <laughs> <laughs> the pyramid with the eye on it. Remember that? Oh, I, I, remember, I remember that scene where he looks at a hundred dollar bill and it looks at the time of the clock that's on the dollar bill. Yeah. And that's the time he goes to the Liberty Bell and then all that shit happens. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Great. Nah, man. I don't know. There, yes. there isn't much out right now on. Um, and whatever it is is not that good. Probably. On whatever it is, because it's like the 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 movie description so far on uh, on Google <sighs> literally just says Spider Man mentors a teenager from Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York, to become the next web-slinging superhero. Um, that's okay, but, like, I feel like we should know a little bit more, just because it's coming out December this year. And, like, that sounds cool, but, like, the trailer, I think, has showed more than that. Like, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's weird. Because I'm really excited about it and whatnot. Bob Ross moment. Yeah? This is going to be the intro here in a sec. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to episode six of the ACU podcast. Hello, hello. Austin here. Austin Ross. And we got Peter again. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, Today we're going to talk about some new movies that are coming out, some new news about movies and TV shows and stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. So I've got some news about uh, Spider-Man stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it's not too much, but, you know, it's uh, Into the Spider-Verse. I'm really excited for it because it's coming out, you know, December 14 is what it says. But I don't know because I'm really excited about the cast going on there. Like, if it wants to actually show it on my tablet or not. Okay. But uh, it's going to, like, I know that Nicolas Cage is going to be in it. And I know, like, that's really weird to me just because, like, it's Spider-Man and all that. Just, like, I don't know, man. Yeah. Like, Spider-Man doesn't seem like it would need to involve Nick Cage, but he's going to be, you know, Spider-Man Noir, which is kind of weird to me. Because I haven't read, read too much on it, but apparently he's got a gun. That's kind of cool. I don't know. If they throw in some mystery-type, like, tri- like National Treasure type of shit, I'm like... It, well, they're probably going to do some kind of crazy Easter eggs with that. Because, like, every single... If you have Nick Cage in a movie, you've got to have some Marvel movie. National Treasure. It's been since, like, Deadpool. Like, the first Deadpool where, like, there was, like, 141 Easter eggs in that one. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. And uh, apparently, oh, like, one of my old teachers, he found, like, every single one of them, which is, like, totally weird. Like, Nate. My, is it the Nate? guy who I'm thinking of? Mm-hmm. Nate? No, oh, I thought you were talking like an, like an actual teacher. I mean, one of the other teachers, I think, was the actual teacher of economics. Oh, I get I you. I thought it was him. <laughs> nah. Him or the math teacher. One of those two would have done that. I probably... They need to put uh, Spider-Man in National <laughs> Treasure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He steals the declaration. <laughs> this is the this is the sequel. There's a, there's a cobweb National the, Treasure Two. There's a cobweb in the Spider Man. There's in a blue one. and red spider just in there. It's like everyone totally noticeable. And everyone's like. <laughs> it just gets bit. I think I heard some news uh, that they're coming out with a new national treasure. Oh my god, no. If they what? are, that'd be amazing. <clears throat> that'd be absolutely amazing. I would be like, hey, work. I need to take a day off. I need this. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine. No, I don't know, man. That's weird. Like, I mean, I'm interested because, like, the first national treasure was good, but, like, I don't know. You know, what movie weird. I really, you know what movie I really wanted to see that Nick Cage? That Net, well, I can't remember. What the, was that movie where he. It's so iconic, yet I'm the most dumbest person. I can't remember this. It's not Knight Rider, but it's like. What? The guy on the, he's like Nick Cage on a motorcycle. It's Ghost Rider. That's what it is. Knight Ghost Rider. Rider. I was like, I was like, you did this motion. I was like, okay, that's gotta be a motorcycle. Like just that. Like just the small flick. Is it like I mean, dude, I like Ghost Rider was okay. I watched it like two years ago, maybe. It's not it's not I great. Can't find anywhere. But maybe it's worth the watch. I mean, to some people. It's not it's not one hundred percent because it's a very, 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 very bread and butter version version of the Ghost Rider story where uh, it gives you a very slight thing of his background and then it's like okay here we go with like his th- like it's just like here's a story and then it's like okay suddenly he's gonna get attacked by the devil because his dad took a you know like took a pact with the devil and it was like oh wait great so to finish up your dad's service time or whatever you're gonna become the Ghost Rider and he's like I'm gonna become the Ghost Rider and Life sucks. Whatever. I don't want to be. Yeah. It's like, "Eh, whatever. Teenage angst. 
So is that the 2003 one or? Yeah, uh, the 2003 one. He turns like he's he's a man when it happens, but it's just it's kind of like it's weird because Nicolas Cage kind of has like the, like that teenage angst thing going on because his life's going great. He meets this girl, whatever, and then so, like she just suddenly is like, hey, I don't like you anymore, or she like passes away, or whatever, and like then he's just like, I hate everything. God, this whole circus act, this whole riding motorcycles thing. God, I just wish it would all go away. And then the devil's like, oh, hey, bud. You want to, like, work for me? You're going to be the ghost rider. He's like, ghost rider? I don't want to be a ghost rider. He's like, too bad. Too bad. <laughs> You're the ghost rider. Do it. Yeah, it's like, yeet. There you go. Have fun. Curse the wicked. Or whatever. Was it a good movie? Yeah. <laughs> It was okay. It was it was worth the watch just to hear Nicolas Cage say really stupid things yeah. in a demon voice. So you know, yeah. it's all right. That's, prob- that's probably why I can't find a Hulu or Netflix because it's so bread and butter. It's like it's Ugh. oh, it's so bland. Like I watched Punisher like literally like mm-hmm. a couple of months ago, and Punisher is literally the same thing where it's bread and butter version of his story, and it's got the most simplest plot. His family gets murdered, and then he's like, okay, I hate the mob now. I'm going to get revenge revenge on them and he gets revenge on them surprises surprises he survives all this crazy bull crap and fighting and whatever but i don't know it's like it was good it was just it's not like something worth just like oh dude let's sit down and watch punisher tonight so yeah is that, just, so honey mustard's got know. more spice than that yeah <laughs> yeah honey mustard's more interesting than, than that crap because that was the uh, age of like um yeah. those marvel movies like you know like, like blade and yeah uh, Yep, and like Fantastic and Daredevil. Four. Yeah. Yep, what yep. new? What are those new Marvel Hulk. shows? I can't, I can't remember they're coming out this soon. Oh, they're like I think there's twins movies somewhere. No, I'm, I'm just having a double. <laughs> what? What are you talking? about? Imagine a Marvel movie where it's like twins. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm Wonder all, Twins I'm, from DC. Yeah, dude. We're out here. <laughs> Wonder Twins powers activate. Shape of giant Water. bucket. <laughs> Sh- form of giant eagle. <laughs> like, what is this? Okay, those things are going to work out. And then Superman punched someone, and then it's like, okay, splash water on him. We did it. Now, giant eagle, lay a fucking egg on him. <laughs> it's like, okay, wow, well, great. <laughs> that all worked out. Super friends. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That's a show. That was a freaking stupid the show. The Hall of Justice. Yeah, dude. Was the that Hall the of cartoon Justice. One? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I had that on on box set. I don't know where it went, but I had the entirety of the Super Friends on box set. Oh. It's good, but it's bad. But it's good, but it's bad. You know, like, it reminds me of Ugh. another box set I've lost. I've been trying to find it. I got to the point where like. Worst case scenario, I just buy it. All right. I looked it up. Can't find it on Amazon. Can't find it on eBay. I mean, well, it's on eBay. The problem is the hundred and fifty dollars from wanted from someone. Great. That's too much. I know. Well, it's a French cartoon show that a lot of kids used to watch around here. Think it was. It's like Cold the Oak, wherever it was. Oh, dude, I love Cuddly Oka. Dude, I, I had the I whole thing. I'm trying to find it, and I just can't remember. It was like a Cartoon Network show. It was like from France. It was like some kid who was like a high, like a genius or whatever that no one ever wanted, <coughs> never socialized with. Right. And then all of a sudden, because he found a computer that can transport to another world and fight a person, I mean, to fight a virus that can affect real life stuff, and all of a sudden he's got like five friends and girlfriends. It's like, yeah. What? <laughs> it's like, okay, here. Here's the here's the stupid idiot squad and all that crap. And then of course the girl and then the course the girl he ends up with is just the girl like he virtualized from the world, which was real bef- which who was real before, but it's like Right. You just made the most Iconic Easter egg where the nerdy kid ends up with the digital AI. Right. It's like, what? Right. It's like, I'm going to add her to my world, and then what's going to happen is that I'm going to get her later because I can't show her my secret, but she's interested in, in what the secret is, and then when I tell her what the secret is, she's like, wow, I want to save the world too. It's like, okay, come on. You this just was made, like planned. You, you, made an, you made an anime VR game before yeah. there was even comprehended, yep. and, and you did it in France. And you made it terribly so that the world will be affected by the virus and you've made. And only kids saw it. Yeah, and all the kids are like, well, I want to play this game and save the world. Sorry, kid, but it's a TV show. Oh, Yeah, dude. 
It's so dumb. It kind of reminds me of that other, uh, what was it, Teen Nick or whatever it was? There was a cartoon. It was called, what was it, um, Captain Mikey or whatever it was? Kappa Mikey? <laughs> yeah. Nobody ever wants to talk about Captain Kappa Mikey. It's I used so to watch good. it all the time. It's so good. It's painfully underrated because it's 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 a show about a TV show, like, and it's just so dumb. <laughs> there yeah. goes that. Everything is falling apart. Oh, no, but Captain Mikey, it was like, I was watching because it came out because there was right. the one American kid, and then there was the anime girl kind of with the blue hair that saw yep. cock and like a most anime. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, dude. I love Kappa Mikey just because it was like, here's Mikey, an idiot, and, and it's like, okay, the show is going to be about him performing on the show, and all of his co-workers and like cast are all about him, and it's like, it's like, he's the only one that can save the world! But like, outside of the show, Mikey's a fucking idiot! He's so stupid, everybody else around him is way more, like, way smarter than him, and then, I don't know, it's just, the way, the way he, he does it, is it like it's just it's dumb because like oh there's like an episode about a cult of squirrels and like the thing is is like Mikey's like what's going on with these squirrels and he like and he crouches down and like watches these squirrels in the park and then like for no reason like like the squirrels like they like do a bunch of clicks or whatever and then they they grab him and bring him into like the underside bunker Aww. of this tree <laughs> and they're like trying to recruit him and then they're like worshiping him and stuff like that because he's he's like I don't know what you guys are saying but it's cool i don't remember the full episode but it was just that was such like, like a squirrel king <laughs> yeah it was so weird of an episode and like the rest of the gang had to team up to like stop the squirrels from taking mikey because otherwise the show's going to be canceled without the main star and the, <laughs> the other girls like the the like there's two girls on there there's one with all like it's like orange hair and she's like just a total bitch like that's that's her entire gimmick she She's a fucking like asshole. Like the girl who's Mikey. driving the mall today. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh man. But and then there's the blue-haired girl, which on the show she's like super serious. But then in real life she's so airheaded, it's like painful. And she just wants to get Mikey back, just because like it's not right if Mikey gets attacked by squirrels. Airheads out of control. And I don't remember. I don't remember if there was anybody else on that show because there there definitely had to have been. But I just I just remember that there those was the were, old dude. Or whatever it was. There, yeah, there you was the old him? guy, but there was also like the the businessman, like the yeah. salary guy. The only the, it was Captain Mikey, and then there was this other show. It was called Tokyo Delivery. What was a bunch of kids who worked at a just a fast food kind of Chinese restaurant? They fight ninjas at night. It's like what? I think I know what you're talking about. So what's the name of this show? We see that uh, there's Kappa Mikey. That was the that was one, and then we were talking about Code Lyoko for a little bit. Okay. Yep. But I don't know if you watched Kappa Mikey. It was amazing. Man. I loved it. Kappa Mikey. Yeah. Yep. I was gonna look it up too. Yeah. <clears throat> this show. You didn't watch this at all. How old is it? Uh, it's from the six. Yeah, like 2006. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Original Network and Car Nicktoons Network 2006. Dude, I just I love it. when I know cartoons but, in the oh, back of my head. This guy was supposed to be, yeah. Uh, so there was like the large purple guy on the show, and he he was like the villain on the show. But he, in like real life, he's just a muscle head. Like he's just a muscle guy. Like he just wants to be yeah. strong and do all this stuff. And then like he goes to like eating competitions all the time and all that crap. Oh boy. And then they had like their little cat that has like a power gem inside his stomach. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> He was the worst because he was supposed to be like the comic relief, but he just get the comic relief would be him getting thrown into a wall and then be like, "Ow, that freaking hurt!" It's just so dumb. All I can think of. I, I loved it so much. All I can think of the cat when it comes out is just cat scratch. Oh, oh god, cat scratch. There, what, what was that? There I the think three, there were three cats and the old lady yep, dies. Yeah, yeah and the she gives the entire dies. mansion the fortune to the three cats. Yeah, I have seen that. Show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're all fighting, and it's like, who deserves the riches? And they had to, like, live in the house together and all that crap and pay bills and get attacked by, like, solicitors and stuff. 
<laughs> I love that damn show. Well, Speaking of uh, Nicktoon <clears throat> shows, yep. uh, Invader Zim is coming back. Yes, dude. Yeah. I'm so excited. I need to start watching that show again. What? Okay. I was I like, watched, you like, didn't first, watch it? Yeah. I watched like a first season and that was it. Dude, it's I so good. Because you know why? It's I got, so I got, good. I got sidetracked by Danny Phantom. Oh, like Danny the, Phantom. I watched so the whole series, including that the part of that segment where everyone finds out about his secret. Yep. Like, yeah. Oh my god, I want to rewatch that. Yeah, dude. Please. I loved Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom. I, dude, I follow Butch Hartman on YouTube and he, he has like his own little podcast where he interviews like voice actors that were on his show and stuff like that. That's cool. It's oh, I love that show. I don't I don't remember the name of it. Uh, it's like it's like drawn something or whatever. Draw the characters who are older. It's not well, like, I mean he did a couple episodes on that where he did like Danny Phantom all grown up and stuff like that. Yeah. And he got like, you know, like a new power and all this extra stuff. I don't know. It was there cool. Was, there was I don't know why, but Spina shows not Nick, but it's like Disney Nick Yeah. Uh, I got totally sidetracked besides Danny Phantom and Phineas and Ferb. And that's all I watched. And I got Danny and Ferb. I, I watched heard Phineas that, and Ferb, but not too much. I heard that they're making another show that's like Phineas and Ferb and it's in the same universe possibly. It's like called Milo's Adventure or whatever. Okay. And I started to watch and I'm like, okay, this is good. No, hopefully. I don't know something. Okay. <clears throat> that's pretty cool. Uh, Matt Groening, the guy who does like Simpsons yeah. and Futurama and stuff like that, he's coming. Yep. Like he's coming out with a new show, and it's gonna be it's gonna be like a medieval. Like it's, I saw it, that. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be like some D and D type adventure kind uh-huh. of bull crap. I just hope it doesn't end like Futurama. Or it's like it's like <sighs> the most like Futurama is so good. What I'm glad ending, I'm though? glad they finally came to an ending. I haven't watched the ending, yeah. oh, really? but <clears throat> I'm glad that it, that they did decide to end it because Simpsons is going on and like it's not bad. Like, they're finally getting back to like, having funny skits and stuff in it. It's just... It wasn't... I don't know. It. I don't think it was meant to be like, as long, long as it is. Because, like, it's it's like satirical about, like, the 80s and then, like, when Wait, it... Simpsons? Yeah. Because, it, like, the, the show like, started a, in, like, the 80s. It's kind of like, like One Piece. It's it never rose end. through, like, the middle of... Well, I mean, it went to, like, 2009 and then it just kind of died there. Because 2010 was where we were getting into more mainstream pop culture and stuff like that and i don't know it was just the simpsons didn't like the 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 jokes just didn't hit like they like yeah it like, was like there was it was flat time period right their treehouse of horror episodes are always good it's just they they didn't they didn't hit on very like serious topics or like very prominent topics in a funny way like they they hit the topics but they didn't do it in the way that like the you know you'd expect from the simpsons or something like that. I think they started to run out of stuff to do because ever like back in that time when Simpsons started yep. starting to get to its end, I was like Simpsons did it like for everything. Yeah, that was the joke. Did. Yeah, like it was as soon as as soon as South Park released the Simpsons did it episode, I kind of started to realize they that did. they did they did everything like they did every joke ever possible like that they could do or made funny and like I don't know it's just like they they dropped off right there. I don't because know. they started running material. It's like nothing's happening. But yeah. they're still going. I kind of want to see him do another movie. Yeah. But, like, I don't know if, if they can, like, return with something you know as good as the first Simpsons movie. Because that was where, like, the hype was. Before I saw the movie, someone I told me that I asked someone, what's the movie like? And it says Hunger Games. I'm like, what? What do you mean? Uh, they're like, because everyone's trapped in a dome. But I, they yeah. sort of fight, like, riots almost. But it's not, like, killing everyone. Right, right, But right. when they said, I'm like, what do you mean? Do you mean killing or do you mean, like, the gla- trapped in a place? Is it's trapped in the dome. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering why they only had one movie and they yeah. had like 26 seasons. Right, 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 right. Futurama right. had like four movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Futurama had a bunch of those. And like, yeah. I love Futurama. And they're all good. Mm-hmm. Every show either. They're all good. After like 12 episodes, then, or after like two seasons of shows, like, okay, we're going to have a movie or an off series, like an OA. I can't remember what it's called. OVA, whatever. OVA? Like yeah. Like the original, whatever the crap. I don't know what it's like it's like an episode after the season before yeah. the next season starts that but no one un- understands like to look at it. Right, like, right, right. The OVA usually has nothing to do with the show. It's just like here. It's something that people want to see. Yeah, we're gonna put the characters in a very stupid satirical episode. Fan service. Right. Cause there was Angel Bee 
beats, and yeah. like that show is really heavily serious, and that's like you know an anime, but th- like that show is very serious twenty four seven, and then the OVA for it is the goofiest thing they could do. Infinite Stratus. Uh, yeah, dude, that's I my love, that's my perfect. One I loved of. Infinite Stratus. They 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 ended up on a hip, on ovens. a cliffhanger, didn't they? Yes, and they have two OVAs. I hate it so much because I was like really invested, and then just for no reason they're like, oh, here comes Infinite Stratus too. And it's yeah. like, at, the, at least it's even okay. though it was short, at least Say I Love You actually had a really good ending. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. like. That's true. All right, so maybe we we're supposed to actually get back to the topic movies, and talk yeah. about recent movies, not just you know. Cartoon shows trip. back in 2006. Have you guys heard of uh, the new Terminator movie? Oh, there's a new one. There's. Yep. Uh, is Arnold gonna be in it? At he all? is. Is and he? Guess who else is coming back? Who? Linda Hamilton. No way. Sarah Connor. Yep. No. So way. Terminator's Damn. doing what Star Wars doing? Bring back all the old characters before we continue. Well, not- all of them. I know, yeah, but, no, sure, them, but the but ones okay. that are still there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. I'm interested yeah. in that. There's, um... Do you guys see the, the commercial for Black Klansman at all? I think. Oh, it's so good. It's about... I think it's Key from Key and Peele? I don't remember which one it is. But it's one of the it's one of the guys from Key and Peele. And he's going undercover as a cop. And, like, like the whole thing is, like, I don't think, like, like it's in, like, southern Alabama or, like, Georgia or whatever the crap. It's, like, a very southernmost state. Mm-hmm. And um, so he, he applies for the police force. And then, like... The, <laughs> Like the start of the movie is him getting the job, and then him finding out about that. Like the KKK is super, super, super prominent in this, uh, in in like this town and whatever. And it's it's a serious movie and a very you know satirical sort of kind of like because he joins the cops and then he calls up the leader of the KKK and poses as a white guy, and uh, and so they're creating this persona of I can't remember what the name of the guy. Is. Is, but um, they're creating this persona, and they're trying to bust the KKK for doing crazy illegal stuff. But they can't just like arrest someone for being in the KKK because associating with someone, like associating with that organization, isn't illegal. It's doing any of the like illegal stuff, like burning people, burning crosses in someone's yard, you know, putting some guy up on a stake or some shit like that. But he's creating. Oh, it's it, his uh, his his little persona is Ron. Perlman, which is this white guy who absolutely despises anybody that is, you know, black, Jewish, like, you know, anybody who, like, Chinaman, whatever, like, anything like that. It's supposed to be, he's a super racist, and he's trying to join the KKK. Jesus. And he, uh, he meets this other white cop, uh, and, like, well, like, this, this, this white cop is going to pose as Ron Perlman, super racist guy, and, um, and he's going to infiltrate the KKK, and the guy who is being Ron Perlman as the white cop, he is he is Jewish himself, and he doesn't believe in the black cop's idea to try and bust the KKK because he's like, well, I hate this. Like, they, like yeah, they're doing bad stuff, but like, what are what are you supposed to do? Like, we can't stop them. And then the the whole movie is about them trying to you know bust the KKK for doing that. Yeah. And I don't know. It just it seems really interesting because I don't know. Because there's like historical movies kind of like that. Like, yeah, yeah I, I like stuff that. I like. I like that kind yeah. of stuff. It's either that or horror, because horror you always got suspense, and historical you always have another perspective of yep. that time period of what this happened or something else over yonder. Yep. It's like that movie with uh, what's his name, Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, he, Cumberbatch. Yeah, everybody says his name wrong. <laughs> I love it. But um, so the that whole movie, uh, the one that I'm thinking. Of, I can't remember the name of it, but it's him as a scientist and he's discovering like some law of gravity or whatever, or, like physics thing. Newton, Doctor Strange. Yeah, he's Doctor Strange and he's figuring out, you know, laws of physics and bullcrap, but he is doing it as. Like he does it, and then the government finds out he's gay, and they try to they try to you know disallow his information to come out to the public as truthful because they believe that he's crazy because of his homosexuality and stuff like that. Why does it make me huh. think of that show Limitless? It's not really a part, but it's like it, he's like he takes a pill. What this is, well, Limitless is with this one guy. Yep. He takes a pill, 
and he gains infinite knowledge. Like he's like super computer. Himself. Oh, I know what you're talking yes. about. Yeah, humans only use like 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 ten percent of our brain. That's like the whole. Yeah. That's the whole and concept. Then we, and then when it wears off, that's not true. it's like we can't let him have this more. It's very experimental. Yep. Might kill me and all that shit. Yep. And then he takes it again, and like that, like he he starts learning more and more and more and figuring and things the, out. And, the guy and then they're like, hey, him. we have to stop this guy because he's crazy and he's not allowed to do that. Blah blah blah. It's hyper illegal. And they just keep letting it go. <laughs> yeah, and it keeps going, and like I don't know how it concludes because I didn't watch it, but it seems interesting. Like that's just how it seems. The reason I mainly watched it because the one character, the second uh, like character that's in that show is Dexter's sister. Mm, that's okay. what I'm like because I was watching Dexter and it says you might watch this. I'm like that's the same actress. Meh, why not? And I and it was really good. Good stuff. If I could find another movie with that guy, I would watch it again. Yeah, I didn't watch Dexter at he's all. He's a good, he's a good actor. I would yeah, have. yeah. I'm that. thinking of just starting up Netflix sometime soon and just watching all of those like soap, soap dramas and all that crap, like mystery stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I, like I Daredevil want... and all them. Like, I want to get through those and make sure I can, you know, have something to say about them because I'm interested. It's just, you know, I'm only like four or five episodes in, into Daredevil and I'm like, yeah. this is interesting, but I. I I don't know. I don't like. I don't like wasting forty-five minutes to watch it, or like a full hour, or whatever the but crap it is. But over the course of time, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, like if if I can watch like half Not of it and then sitting. like yeah, in one sitting, it's really tough. That I can do. <laughs> there's a lot to get, and there's a lot of story in there, and that's okay. I prefer when it's that way. But it's it's they do a really suspense, suspenseful f- full part, at, and then like it's like okay, we're gonna drop the suspense, and then we're gonna do story, and then we're gonna do you know like a very I don't know like my thing is like when it was in like the fourth fifth sixth episode like they blow up a factory and like that's supposed to be like the climax of the episode and then they're like okay here's a bunch more story and then Daredevil is almost caught by the police blah 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 he wakes up in this nurse's house or whatever and that's like the episode because the episode started with him waking up in there yeah well it's not like the pilot it was like fourth or fifth episode you know why they had the but. nurse in the first place is the ending because she was like in every other Marvel movie. Good Not stuff. Like, well, well every movie. Of the show, I mean, shows. Put sorry. the shows on there. She's yeah. in Jessica Jones. She's in Luke Cage. She's in Iron Fist. Fist well, every one of them. She's probably supposed to be like you know like a connection between them. Because, that's why like, in that's Defenders why. she is. Yeah, that's why that's de- Defenders only- came. Yeah, <clears throat> that's why Defenders was like a big thing. Because when I was watching all before Defenders was even mentioned, I was like, this one actress in every single one of them. There's got and they're all in New York. They gotta be doing something in the future. Right. And that's what they did was defenders. I'm like, how did I think of that? How like how, how like how easy to tell was that? Right, right. <laughs> it's good. It's good. But every episode has to be like, there's a new villain or no, whatever, and like crap. It's like either that. that or it's the other thing where it's like, okay, you can watch this this episode on here, but then you have to watch a totally different series in order to watch the other. Yeah. Part of it. It's like you yeah. have you have to be in the middle of Arrow to also watch Flash and, at the same time. There's like four episodes. Episodes Ugh. where you have to, in order, or that are different seasons, it involve Arrow, Supergirl, mm-hmm. and then what are the other ones? Oh, Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah, Legends, Legends. Of, Le- yeah, Legends of Tomorrow or whatever the crap. That's that's kind of interesting. Those I don't really all- know. Just because, like, because um, there was references to Smallville, and Smallville was like a really old thing. I where, saw it. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's good. It the whole it's so good. It's just it's underrated. It's like people don't watch it just because like it was it was a small indie thing and it wasn't you know it wasn't like announced as a DC thing and then like when DC yeah like they put it out and it was it was Smallville and it was okay like it was it's good don't get me wrong I like it but they didn't they didn't mention that it was like a DC thing until like years uh, like yeah it was like it was like okay you know Smallville that small show uh yeah that's about DC heroes Supergirl they just kind of went off of that right I mean in Smallville Smallville Doctor Fate showed up and all that extra and like I think that's cool. I think that's the point where I where I like genuinely understood that it was a DC film because Doctor Fate I don't know like I don't know why but I think he's such a cool hero and like it's not it's not because I like know that much about him it's just because like he gets his power from this onk that he wears or I whatever. I want to see a movie of that. That's the one movie I do want to see because I, 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 I've never even seen anything remotely close to Doctor Fate except like the DC 
DC anime kind of series on yeah. the network. Cool. I get you. I'm like, I want a movie with this guy. They have Shazam. Yeah, dude. Up. Oh, <clears throat> man. Shazam better be good. Because Shazam is, is an interesting character. And they are do, they are taking a different route on his character. Because yeah, I saw the trailer. He, and I was, was, like, he was Billy Batson, a 10-year-old boy who was troubled and whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And, like, he gets, you know, he gets his, his powers from saying the power word Shazam or whatever. But it's interesting that they're doing it as, like, he's, like, a 15-year-old now. So they don't have to, like, well, he's, like, 15, maybe 18. I don't know. from an old man. Well, yeah, that's, that's the, the thing. Uh, like, I love, the, I love that in the, the, in the trailer. The, the end of the trailer was weird because I was watching, like, okay, this could be, could be good. And then it's, like, cuts to him, like, he's just walking out with a bunch of stuff from the supermarket. Like, yeah, I'm a superhero. What's oh, up? Funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the way I'm, like. I love is, that one. Is this going to be a Deadpool thing or what's going to happen? Well, like, Deadpool but child. Style, like well, that's style. the thing. Like <clears throat> Billy Batson, as a kid, he's like he, he's he's like he's naive and all this extra, and he he's wants a man child. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like he's I understand he's, that part, he's like, like a twenty something whatever, and he's like this crazy hot superhero, blah blah blah. But as Billy Batson, a ten year old boy, he has like a very very childish brain, and he can't really you know help out in like very big circumstances or anything like that. <clears throat> and this one, they're playing him as like a fifteen year old. And he's like well read, but he's troubled, and I don't get that because Billy Batson as a kid is, you know, he's kind of an idiot. Not to be mean to him, but he's not the smartest. And I don't know. It's just it's weird. I like I like the different change though, because he actually the, knows uh, some villain. stuff. I don't Do know who the villain is. Yeah, that, we the, saw him stop was... robbers in the in the trailer, and all that was that. Is that the main villain? All, I hope so. <laughs> the, robbers. the whole the whole film. The is robber the twins are just it's... generic robbers, <laughs> dude. <laughs> The Comes main villain is adolescence, dude. <laughs> a year, a year later, a year later, Shazam two, the return of the twin robbers. <laughs> yeah, that's is it. it. That would um, be something. Black Adam. Hmm? Oh yeah, Black Adam's Shazam's his main villain, dude. But they're <clears throat> making a movie, and um, Dwayne Johnson is the he's the, the Black Adam. Yeah. He's gonna be Black Adam. Okay. They're gonna start filming it. Um, okay. Fall of 2019. So okay, we're not going to see it for a while. Right, that's okay. Actually, kind of going off of that, I went to see Deadpool not too long ago, and then it's the, but it was the day before Ant Man and Wasp came out. Okay, I wanted to see that. I was like, mm, I, I really want to see, but I'm not too sure Dude, about it. I didn't watch like any movies. This I watched year. the first one. I watched the first Ant Man. Yeah, Dude, the first Ant Man was really good. <sighs> I loved it because like they, like it was it was really funny because it was like you know it was like a meme in the beginning where it's like, you know, Baskin Robbins always finds out and stuff like that. But I don't know. It's just, it was funny because they they played Ant-Man right where, like, you know, Scott Lang or whatever, he's just kind of like a petty thug and he's, well, thug, he's a thief and all that. And then, like, he tries to steal from Hank Pym and he gets really close to getting the suit or he does take this, he does take the suit. And uh, he gets it, he puts it on and he tries it out and then he turns really small. And then, like, uh, it plays, like, an audio file and he's like, you're not supposed to be wearing that fucking suit, dude. Like, what the crap? I don't know. <laughs> Iron Man 2. That, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Iron Man 2. <laughs> Tony's yeah. best friend just takes the suit of Let's go, boys. I'm taking this. Uh, no, you're not. I'm really drunk. You're not taking that. Uh, I'm actually going to go because you're not sober and I can beat you. Creates an like, army of, those nope. bo- of the robot yeah. Iron Man suits. Like, Jesus. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's a little bit overkill. Oh, man. Holy crap. I love that, though. Oh, I don't know how. <clears throat> so, shall we get to our next discussion? You talking about not that? The, no. Okay. Well, we'll get to that later. Then. I was like, man, we we've only talked about like three movies. I don't know, man. Slender Man. That's the one I want to see, just because it seems so weird. And I guess movies. I never soon. played the game, but I always out? wanted to. Hmm? Uh, I think out? it's sometime like November. I think it's oh, like so soon. Yeah, I think it's like really close. If it was to my in birthday. October, that would be even better. I it might be. Movies. I like watching horror movies in October if possible, because that just seems like a true horror day where I can just go to the movies and watch nothing but horror movies if I can. Right. Really? I'm gonna click on it and see. I do that every year. Uh, 
I go to the theater. I br I bring oh, the last date is August tenth. Oh, so sooner. Wow, it's in like a week. See Holy that crap? Okay. See, I wish it was in October because in October again, that's what I do. I take fifty dollars. Yeah. I go to the movies and I go see ten movies. That's next Matter Friday. In a matter of two days. That is next Friday. Yeah. yeah holy cow. In two days in October, and like two days next year and late and like. We'll do the podcast in the theater. <laughs> hey guys, it's uh, it's ACU. This is theater. You may not know us too well, but we're gonna be uh, narrating this bull crap. This and uh, Slenderman's gonna. Oh jeez! <laughs> throw, throw the microphone, Stan. I don't want this anymore. You know it's scary. That reminds me. I wanted to see uh, what was it, Guardians of the Galaxy two with you and the others. Yeah. I, I'm so you sorry. You shut up. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. I just okay. Oh, I never. Every been... single sentence. You're like, yo. <laughs> He's gonna get fucked. It's really? like shut no, up. Yeah, okay. that must been so okay. annoying. This yeah. is what, what happened. Okay, here's an example. Towards the end, you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so towards the end, you know that part where it's like the Pac-Man and he disintegrates, turn in, and when he disintegrates, he's like, hey, look, it's Lord Voldemort. That's. Yeah. I did stuff like you that. Had to, he had to so say something. That guy. Nothing he had to but say something puns. Everything. <laughs> Everything. In my in my defense, in I what defense? Uh, Talking during a movie. I wasn't having Shut a good, up. I, I wasn't having a good day, and it was like, and I had what happened was I was not having a good day, and I haven't seen movies for how long, and I haven't hanged out with anyone, and I wanted to say a lot, but I couldn't because of the movie. So I'm like, oh, I want to say something. I'm like sitting next to Kane, so I'm like. That's yeah, it's happened. Literally, I, wait till like, after the yeah. movie. Literally, Steve was like, "No, I'm gonna have to move. I can't handle this." <laughs> so then Steve Cam sat by me, and you got to sit next to Caden, and you just wouldn't <laughs> shut up. You kept whispering crap to him. I was like, "Just, I'm gonna whip this popcorn at you if you don't shut your mouth also, in a second here." He actually said, "I will dump this entire tub of popcorn. You'll have to eat off the floor." Yeah, if dude. You keep talking. I was like, "Okay." Yeah, dude. I just, I was. Oh, I don't know. That day was something. I mean, I, I feel really bad, but I just kept going. I just don't know why. <clears throat> I think, actually, to be honest, I think I didn't have a medication that day at all. That's probably why. So, I wouldn't know. On Google, uh, hmm? uh, one of the one of the most popular searches. Well, that was gross. And uh, one of the most popular searches is a uh, father of Slenderman attacker calls new movie extremely di distasteful. There was a girl apparently attacked by Slenderman. Hmm? In real life? Are you kidding me? Is that what that is? Are you uh, to, I what think so. Are you trying, are, wait, are you talking about the two girls who committed suicide because no. of Slender Man? Or are you talking about like an, an accusation of Slender Man? The, uh, Bill Wire, uh, whose daughter was, uh, whose daughter attacked a classmate, inspired by the fictional Boogeyman, yep, has claimed that Sony's new horror film is popularizing a tragedy. That's uh, that's a little bit messed up considering he's a widespread media character, and that's not the point. Uh, the father of a girl girl who violently attacked a classmate after uh, being inspired by a fictional character. Yeah. Slender Man it has criticized the new horror film uh, of the same name being extremely distasteful. Uh, Bill Wire, whose 12 year old daughter Anissa stabbed another girl uh, with the help of a friend, has spoken out against the forecoming Sony Pictures release Slender Man after a trailer was released online. Uh, it's absurd they want to make a movie like this, he told the Associated Press. Associated Press. It's popularized, uh, popularizing a tragedy is what it's doing, and I'm not surprised, but in my opinion, it's extremely distasteful. All we're doing is extending the pain, all three... Uh, all, is extending the pain all three of the families have gone through. Okay, I was like, this doesn't make any fucking yeah, so sense. That's, so that's what I'm thinking. Couldn't read it. it, was a, it yeah, so it I was, was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, do you find the game scary? The games, well, I mean, in the, like, when they came out, yeah, but it was just jump scares. Yeah. That was, like, the point. Yeah, that's what it, it came made, out, that's it made what really was. loud noises when he would appear near you, and, like, if you stood there, you'd be fricked because, like, he, he moves <laughs> when you're not looking at him. And you can't look at him directly because, like, it causes your screen to go... Your mm -hmm. screen gets all fuzzy and whatnot. But if you don't look at him, he'll, like, he'll sneak up on you and grab you and whatever, and then I'll do, like, a really loud fucking, you know, jump scare. And by today's standards of games, that those, those jump scares are pretty damn weak. <clears throat> but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I don't really find him, like, you know, scary or a threat. I mean, because right. he is a dude in a suit with 
no face. I mean, he's pretty much got a really sock mask. Like, right, 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 there. right. That's the thing. And like, there's people who have like, you, you know, like extended his lore where it's like the reason he's this way is because of all this bullshit. But at that point, I just play the G mod version because that seems. Like dude, I fun. love Stop It Slender or whatever the crap that is. <laughs> dude, when I watch Rich Dude with, with Jeff screaming when he's getting chased. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I love it. Stop it, Slender was so janky, but I liked it because it was just dumb. Because, like, Slender Man's OP, he can <coughs> teleport 24 7. The only time I've ever seen Slender Man was either for that yep. or when Markiplier played his Homecoming series. When it was like, those yeah, kind of Slender Man Homecoming. And did that little part was when he, because he played Slender before, yep. because that, and I'm like, okay, that seems pretty good. I like the I like the, uh, the weird little Easter egg in there that, like, turns into a drug trip when you start looking at like the children's drawings on the walls that's kind of cool i like that because it, it like unlocks like a whole new world and all this bull crap secretly shangri-la from far cry 4 <laughs> yep do you find um horror video games or like horror movies more scary um i think to be honest i think games are uh, games do it a little bit better to me but know. lately, it's because movies lately. movies really do get under my skin. That's the issue. Because games freak me out more. Like it makes me up my like the adrenaline rush, and I'm like mm-hmm. freaked out. But sleep, movies like, oh, really put the chill down my spine. I don't know. It's I, I can't See? really like fight that like one's better than the other. But I prefer games because I'm I'm there and I'm controlling. Yeah. Said horror. And then in a um, movie, right. you're sitting there watching it and you can't control like yep. the boy. Yep. 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 Story for you when it comes to this. <laughs> Remember, can okay, I ever tell you about the whole Annabelle story? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, yes. so no, yeah, you have, but I'm not sure. So this is what I did. So I went to the theater. I wanted to see Annabelle. I'm like, okay, I really want to see the movie. So I go down there, like stand. There's a few people there, yeah, 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 watching other movies. I'm like, <clears throat> I want to see an Annabelle. I go there, my popcorn, and everything, go in the movie theater. I'm saying, I'm like, must be the first person in this room. I sit down, movie start. I'm the only person in the entire theater room. Room by myself sitting there and it's already at like nine o'clock at night. Great. Once I'm watching the whole movie <clears throat> I'm like ah, and I love horror so I'm just sitting there like oh this is fun. All by yourself. Yeah. Yep. Dark, I was, huge I was, room. I was enjoying it. No oh, thanks. Oh it no gets thanks. worse. It gets worse. I'm not I don't get I don't get scared at all. I love horror completely. Yeah. <clears throat> but when the universe is like you know what let's scare the shit of this guy. It didn't. The universe didn't but the, the amount of effort was perfect. Like when the movie's done, I walk out. It's just me. Yep. And, and the you guy at the, the popcorn park. stand, and that's that. The yep. only two people in the entire movie. Oh, and it gets worse. I go outside. I'm parked near the very in the very far corner near the woods. Yep. And it's one o'clock in the morning. Yep. I'm like, universe, you're really trying hard here. Yeah, dude. It's spooky. I don't know, man. Uh, any any ideas on the the? Well, there's the Predator, which is gonna be like the solo film about like the Predator's backstory or whatever. All I can yeah. think of or, like, is that top That's passing. interesting. I'm not exactly sure if I want to watch it, but like that's cool for anybody who does like that kind of crap. Um, I don't know, man. This just seems interesting because like I like when when they do, you know, solo films of like the the the, the villain Han or whatever, solo. or like slasher films, <clears throat> just because slasher films are fun. Like all the Friday the Thirteenth, those are great. <laughs> Halloween, and then like there's you know there's like oh, what is that Nightmare on Elm Street and Speaking stuff like that. They're remaking <clears throat> the original Halloween movie. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I, I think I about that. Wait, you mean I the dream? Wait, that. you mean the dream? Not the DreamWorks one, is it? Or not? DreamWorks? No. Um, yeah. Wow. A guy who murders people no, in a town. No. No. I remember Let's how, remaster no, this I'm as thinking, a children's film. No. I'm thinking like the. I can't remember what it is, but it's like a childhood version. Like it was like 2006 or 2009, and it was like Halloween Town or whatever it was. Are you talking about Nightmare Before Christmas? No. I'm talking about like Halloween Town 1, 2, and 3, and then it's like some girl like going to college. I don't freaking know. What? I used to watch it when I was a kid. I'm trying to remember shit when I was five years old, man. Are, are you talking? Well, Hold on. I'm going to look at Yeah, that. please do that because I know what I'm talking about, but I know for a fact I'm not crazy for this topic point. You know what I mean? Yeah, Halloween Town is what it's called. <clears throat> Halloween Town? Yeah, it's like really... It's like 2010, I think it was. Not 2003. I like the, uh... Whatever it is. Uh, Miss... Yep, that would be it, probably. What? Yeah, that's what it. What the crap? Yeah, that would be it. And there's like three of them. 
It's a Disney movie. Yeah, oh, oh I was right. Okay, Dis- I was close. It's a Disney Channel movie. <coughs> I was close. Good stuff. I just an saw original a Disney Channel movie, yep. They had good songs in the show. 1998, the first one. Good stuff. And I watched it after I was born. Hell yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> it was like a third one, too. It's really fun. The third one was my like favorite because they were going to college or something like that, and there's a bunch of them. You know what this know. reminds me of? What? What was that one uh, movie called? Like Jack and the Giant Peach? Or- oh, my oh, God. Yeah. I love that movie. That's so dang good. Dude, I remember when our school did a play for it. Yeah? That was not good. Jack and the Giant Peach. I like I, I remember it, but I don't think that Oh a play, that's weird. The favorite okay. my, the only play I can remember in really good detail that our school did or some other school oh, it's game James. Was James and the James Giant Peach. I, I was yeah. like, I, no. I was pretty but, close. But the play Jack. though, back to the play thing, um <clears throat> our school the only play I remember it was Little House of Horrors. Was it was? Oh, okay, Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah, that's what it was. Dude, I love it. Seymour, feed me. <laughs> I'll feed my <laughs> I'll eat the whole town, Seymour. I love that crap. Didn't change, there was two different versions of Jane, Giant Peach. There was like real life version. There was, and yep. there was a, mm-hmm. and there was a cartoon the Giant version. Peach, yep. The real life version was really weird. I will admit. Is it older? <laughs> there was yeah. a lot of CG. Like yeah, I get you. You were. It was like almost like Black Panther CG. So it's newer then. <laughs> no. The. Live action one. It was like 2014. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, so it's newer. Because the car- I was t- I was three years old. How was three the years old? The cartoon one came out in '96. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what are yeah, you talking life, about? He's the, he's meaning life. newer, as in like, did it come out more recently? Look at the real life yeah. version. The real life. I'm talking version. about like like newer as yeah, yeah it he's, came he's out saying, after the. That's what wait, is that what it is? Hold yeah, on, let me see. <laughs> Guys, I was grab his phone and be like, "Hell yeah!" Oh, what's that? What's that show about? All the the creepy like it's it's like Miss Spooky's house or whatever. It's like it's like a Halloween thing that was on uh, Cartoon Network. Let me see. I was just gonna know I'm king. Uh, that's, that's a game. I can't find a live action. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? Um, all the ha- Monster House? No, no, no. Oh, dude, I love Monster <laughs> House. I love. Dude, that I love. Really scared. That's me. a good movie. Oh, yeah. I love that it. House is when, terrifying. when the house when the house flicks into like the angry face and like the carpets doing the oh. doing the tongue thing, Ugh, that's <laughs> freaky man. That, that's oh, freaky. That, that, I do. I think I watch that show at least once a like week every time. Like in October, I watch it like not so. There's this little special Halloween episode where it's like a witch and like a gigantic purple monster. I can't remember what it was called. What like a wolf? I can't remember what it is. But I know I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, the one they do every single. Halloween on Cartoon Network, where it's like these four little kids would look like Car- like Caroline style characters. Oh, I miss that show. But I don't know what the show was called. Like, I can't remember the name. I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> There's like the the butler's like a skeleton and whatever. Then he's wearing like a, a top hat. I don't. It, it's his name is Mr. Bones or whatever. If you Google I it, think I, I know what you're talking about. I could probably Google and actually find it. Maybe. But I, don't know what I can't remember. <clears throat> I cannot remember. What happened is Mr. Bones Halloween. Just, you, I mean, I mean, at this gonna point, be, Google will find it. Google knows the answer. Google like, Google's try. like, I got you here, man. I got you. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Like, no, you don't. You're ruining Mr. my Mr. Bones. R- Mr. Bones. Yes. 2001 comedy. No. That's, that's not it. I, I, know, I, I know what you mean. That is terrible. <laughs> Mr. Bones. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Bones. He's like a reggae man. I love that crap. I know exactly oh what I'm thinking oh of. Oh my god, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's funny. I know what I'm thinking of. It, though. It's something that's like Mr. Bones Halloween. Ugh. Not Jamaicans. It's like, what the crap is it? This is so bad, like for like a podcast segment. Up, we're just not, here on our phones looking up bull crap about I know, Halloween. I know it's weird, but I'm not going to give up on this. This is oh, too important. Halloween, ha- Halloween movies on right, Cartoon Network. I'm giving up. Okay, I will look for it later, and I will I'm find finding it. a spooky, scary skeletons, and it's not even Halloween yet. So speaking of speaking of skeletons, uh, do you hear about? No. The oh, I was I was going to mystery. Box. Wait for Halloween. There I, it no, is. I was, I was it's only two months away. I was talking about the. Like,
like scary to godmothers <laughs> Halloween spook time. Yes, yeah. that's it. There it is. Yeah. No, but I was talking. I, was I knew exactly what I was thinking of. But Connor, what I, what I was going to mention was <sighs> um, I hated the look of the kids on that show. They were <laughs> fucking gross. It's the like little Car- girl made me want to die every time I saw. Her. It's like when I watch Caroline, I just can't do it. I'm like, you know, oh, I, dude. I mean, Caroline. I like Caroline so good though. I like the story and everything. I just when I first saw. I didn't see Jack the night before Christmas. Before I didn't see that before Caroline. Oh, dude. That's why I didn't like Caroline, and then that made me like iffy on Nightmare Before Christmas and all that. Oh no! But then I kind of liked it though. But Nightmare Before Christmas. There is a reason that they saw all that bullcrap and hot topic about it. <laughs> Every single edgy girl has to have a piece of Jack Skellington merch <laughs> because that is one hot piece of bone. Let me tell you, man. <laughs> Seriously, there is a reason that they <laughs> sell all that crap. <laughs> I love that movie. It's so good. And I don't know, dude. This is weird. Like, I don't know. I like the fact that, like, in every single Kingdom Hearts, they have to do a Halloween Town world just because people like that so much. You mean the Menards, you mean? Hmm? Man, Ma- Menards? Menards? They, they do this little show. Yeah, you Menards? Know, please tell me you know what you're talking about, right? What the fuck? Are you talking it's about? Called I Spooky said Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. It's called, no, I thought. No, I think. When you no, said Menards? <laughs> yeah, we saw Lumber in the shape of Jack Skellington's head. No, they do a Halloween. No, they do a Halloween. No, they do a Halloween thing at Menards every single Halloween. They have this little decoration near the seed section. Yeah, I worked there. Yeah, I know. The you Menards. Know, world. I buy that. Yeah, the boss. The boss of the world is spooky Lowe's. Town. You gotta fight Lowe's. No, the Spooky Town memorabilia. You know what, right? I know what you're talking about, but I'm saying make that I'm, a mod. I buy that every Menards. year. Menards. <laughs> I just brought up Kingdom Hearts. I buy a piece of that every year. That part of that collection. I last. Last year I bought a carousel. I was happy. I wanted some decoration. I know what you're talking Halloween. about. It's a small little village. Yep. Like I do, I do that for Christmas. <clears throat> Christmas every single year, uh, we pick out you know a small piece of like the little like the little Christmas village and whatever. Because um, last year I bought like a little car for it, and then one year we we set out like a little mirror, and that was like the ice skating rink and all that. I want to I want to collect like Halloween stuff, but I want to collect, collect Halloween stuff. I want to collect the Halloween versions because, but I want to collect like certain pieces that look like iconic. That I want to have like somewhere decoration I can use somewhere like the carousel. There was one that was an octopus ride I really yep. wanted because I wanted a carnival ride something. Yeah, I like the uh, I like the weird like Ferris wheel one and it's got like bones on it, like like skulls yeah. on every single like little uh, little seat. There on was it. there was one I really I know, wanted. That's cool. There was one I really wanted, but they didn't have it anymore. They only had it one time. It was like the water tower run. I mean, all I could think of was like Proctor's water tower. Like I really want to have this to decorate it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. What is like the water tower? I know. Just no, it doesn't say anything. It just has a pumpkin on it. Is all it okay? Because okay. I wanted, I just wanted a water tower. Yeah. Because worst case scenario, I skated my dad. He paints the side of it. He makes a water tower for his end scale trains. Right. Worst case scenario. Right. 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 <clears throat> I want to have some decoration. It's a giant pumpkin. Lil, let me make that into a water tower for my yes, little train set. Yes, I sound like a six-year-old man trying to collect like little knickknacks, but hey, it's decoration for me. No, to so stay on the topic about Halloween. Oh yeah. Yep. You yeah. guys seen Stranger Things, right? Yeah. I was, yes. Well, I've seen the first one. I haven't <laughs> seen the second season. I really want to watch it, but ugh, too lazy. I'm the gonna start watching the third them. season. Um, so the <gasps> release date for it, they delayed it because they said okay. that they want to make the season. Bigger and better than season two. Okay, so, that'd be nice. It's not coming out till like next year. No, that's sometime <laughs> next year. Oh, I was like, year? well, maybe December. I don't really care. But ah, oh, man, okay, yeah. that sucks. Hey, Whatever. people, we're gonna give you this next year, January. Like, dude, that's like four months away. Stranger though. Stranger Things was a trip. Watching it the first time, it's just like yeah. this. These pieces are all here, but I don't know what's going on. And I need then to it watch. Just it. Starts connecting, and it's like, whoa! I need to watch. It's a series. mystery. Yeah. Um, of like um <coughs> so good mystery shows trying to figure out like what's going on. I love yep. criminal mystery shows. That's my favorite. Yeah, if dude. I have to watch anything, that'd be it. Have you seen Lost in Space? No, I on, haven't. Uh, Netflix. <gasps> no, no, that, no, I haven't seen that. But it reminds me of something else called Zathura. Whatever it is. Zathura, where they Zathura. play the board game. Board game, yeah. Yeah, and they go flying into space, and there's like me and like robots and crap. Do you want to talk about Connor? Yeah, dude. That movie scared me. <laughs> dude, I love I Zathura though. It was kind of creepy. 
creepy. Though. It only made me like sad for like I was like seven years old or five, and I was watching this, and then we sad just for one part is when the brothers like the older version of him shows up and doesn't say anything. If, mm. I, if you do this, you're trapped here forever. It's like, and you dance your brothers like. Oh. Yep. The scariest part <coughs> is with the giant lizard. Mm. Oh, I thought it was the robot I trying to kill that. you. <laughs> the robot trying to murder him was freaky. All I thought when I saw the when I saw the robot, all I could think of was the um, what was it? <coughs> the mechanist from Fallout. Oh, That's dude, all I could I, think of. I love the mechanist. <coughs> But we should probably stop jumping yeah. to Fallout every time. I'm not. Dude, I'm <laughs> so good. I'm good at jumping topics. Maybe uh, one podcast we can just strictly talk about Fallout. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. But I'll, that's highly <coughs> unlikely. I know it is. Maybe someday. <coughs> yeah, dude. That's one of me Austin's new segments. I'm kidding. I, maybe not. <coughs> <coughs> you can talk hours about Fallout. Oh, yes, I could. Because I'm the guy who became level 72 without playing the story, pretty much. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Now let's get off that. Now yeah, yeah. back to back to movies. You boys excited for Venom and all? Oh yeah. Oh dude, the reveal of the suit. Oh boy, that second trailer was chilling. I need to watch. Like Spider-Man. when he's like, "We are Venom," and then like the, the yeah. face flips. I was like, "Whoa!" The holy CG crap. looks amazing, dude. Oh man, I, I love to, it. I need to they watch. Just put out a new trailer today. Oh man, he like stops from like robber or whatever, but like he he does like and he. He's, like, in the middle of being Venom, and, like, his face, like, morphs from not being Venom, and, like, he, he says to the robbers, we are Venom, and then, like, uh-huh. he puts it back, and then he, like, beats the fuck out of the guy or whatever, yeah. like, eats him, I don't know. It's so cool. It's funny. What was that? Speaking of Venom, no, oh, never mind, I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, no, but I really need to start seeing Spider-Man movies. Oh, uh, dude, I, I recently watched Spider-Man 2, and I completely misjudged it, because I was like, eh, Spider-Man 2, it's probably not as good as the first one it's better much better Before, i want to i want to watch the amazing spider-man films but i want to see that because like i like i i i saw i saw the second one i haven't seen the third one but everyone says don't watch it because apparently it's just horrible the third one yeah like the third spider-man <coughs> oh yeah the uh joker in it is just bad yeah i, kinda, I mean not the joker yeah the i was like green oh, goblin oh, oh. What the fuck? <laughs> he's the other vert he's the twin yeah no, dude yeah. no but i like but- the green goblin in the first spider-man was amazing <laughs> yep when I, I heard not about, remember his name, but he really, 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 really yeah. did a good job. When I asked people about and, Spider-Man, and the uh, mm-hmm. costume was just on yep. point. Yeah, the costume was cool. It did like it did like a futuristic, but it also did it stayed like you know like with the comics, and it was nice. It was cool. And then three, he had like green hair and like green like face paint, and so it just Joker, looked awful. Like Joker from Dark Knight? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but when I was when I want to watch Spider-Man the movies. Everyone keeps telling me the same thing. Like, this is the same kind of beginning, the same kind of midsection for every movie. It's like, oh boy, <clears throat> he wasn't in time to save his uncle. Sec- and then halfway through the movie, it's like, oh no, lab exploding. He's got to save this girl again. It's like, well, the point is, is like, if it's, you know, if, if you're doing Spider Man, you're going to have to also <coughs> understand that Uncle Ben is a very pivotal point in yeah. Spider Man. It's sure. important. Really is important. But I don't know. It's just. I don't know. It's that way. It's like Uncle Ben was the one who was like, "Hey, you got to use your powers for good." Yeah. If you if you get power, be good with it. And then like Uncle Ben's like, he dies. I know you're gonna have power at some point. Yeah. Trust me. He dies. I don't know how, but I've heard it's absolutely fantastic. Don't you mean? Don't you mean Cole? I'm kidding, dude. That's rough. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> I'm really excited for watching The Punisher. It's just, uh, dang, man. I wonder what they're coming out with a season two for that. But oh, dude, I don't know. I've heard. I've heard they're doing season two of it. It's just, dang. <clears throat> yeah, um, Daredevil season three comes out. This year, the end of this year. Okay, okay. That yep. seems cool. And Iron Fist season two comes out yes. in the next month or two. Yeah, because then oh, they so just did. Kind of I watched like <laughs> half of Iron Fist season one with Steve. Mm-hmm. That's oh, that's so good. I really like that. I don't know. It's just fun. I know. Like it's just I like the the whole first episode was an adventure because it was like, oh, well, I'm back in America. I'm Danny Rand. This is my company. And then they're like, this man's crazy. And he like. 
beats the absolute noodles and cheese <laughs> out of the, yeah out of those out of those uh, out of those uh, security guards because they're like stop him and he like <laughs> throws whatever it is he throws like you know it's like a cane or something in the door or like their baton or something like that they can't get in and he yeah. goes up to the office and he's like you and my company what the crap is this he's like eh my company now <laughs> <laughs> didn't Luke, didn't Luke Cage like, 2 like just come out though like mm-hmm. it was like a week ago uh, a week yeah ago. it was, no, it was like a month. it was like a couple of months ago yeah like at, like before that, New Jessica Luke Jones Cage came out. Two? Well, no, no, no. Yeah. I think like, that came out, yeah. like Luke Cage yes, season out. one yeah. came out a while before uh, Iron Fist. Yep, yep. Jessica Jones Jessica the second Jones season's already out. Two came yep. out after Defenders. Yep. And now and I'm Luke Cage it. did. I thought it was good. Yeah, yeah, Luke Cage came That's out three weeks ago. Two. If like, oh if. yeah 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 yeah, it was like about a month before Iron Fist dropped. <laughs> no, not season two, not season one. Oh. Okay. Season 2 hasn't come out. Season 2 hasn't come out. It's on Netflix. Yeah. Netflix came out three weeks ago. See, I have no clue. Like, the only thing I'm aware of is Dare, is Daredevil Season 1, and I'm only, like, episode, like, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't remember. Uh, I'm show you. I'm that's the issue. Let me just double check. I, I've I said have it before. Before. But, like, the, the 45 minutes, that's, like, the issue. They get so long for an episode. I like, I like the storytelling. I really like it, but... Man, I just ugh, it's just so long. I mean, it's forty minutes yep. or yep. Like an hour long. <laughs> right. Season two is already out. Huh. It's like I, I wanna have to watch that. They I have watch thir- something before I go to work. There's thirteen episodes in like season that. two right now. Yeah. Okay. And they're each an hour long. Okay. Rip. <laughs> Yeah, dude. my spare time. Yep. Yeah, have fun with that. No, seriously, like I'm gonna have to give up YouTube for like a month or two and just like watch every single one of those shows. Like I'm not kidding. Like I'm going to, I'm gonna inject this brain with too much knowledge. I think I, <laughs> Here comes the Bob Goldstein. I just stop being like, every, like I start watching TV shows on Netflix and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start watching YouTube. Just maybe a little bit. I just watch a full playlist that's like 70 episodes long, like one. And two. Oh, God. I just finished season five of Arrested Development. Okay. And in my opinion, I think that's probably the best season so far. It's season five. Good stuff. I need it's, to see that really, show. I think I've watched like an episode of Arrested Development. Just one episode. Yeah, I know, I know. It's fun <laughs> though. I really like the damn show. It's stupid. I don't know. So yeah, that reminds me of an old <coughs> show. What else is not an old show? It's like two years old. It was like a show that lasts like as long as almost as long as Fully Cooly almost, but not. Okay. It's like. 13, so like, 12, maybe 7 episodes. I can't remember. Okay, because it really was like 6 episodes. It was, on AB, it was on ABC. I liked it because it had two well-known characters I know of, like actors. But it's like, it didn't last long because it wasn't that popular. And it wasn't. It was called Selfie or whatever it was. Selfie? Well, that's probably why. Yeah. It was like that's this... rough. It was like a girl who was the... Camera name was the redhead in Doctor Who. I have no idea. Are you talking about his his assistant? Yes. Okay. I know. And it was some about. Chinese, and it was some Asian dude who I can't remember. I knew, I know for fact, it's like multiple different shows, and he tries to help her learn how to be more social in real life versus online, and that's the show. And there's sort of a romance at the end, and it ends on that cliffhanger. It's like. <laughs> And that was the show. You're not getting a satisfactory ending until we get another season. <laughs> I hate cliffhangers. I hate that crap so much. Like, I understand if, you did a, so if the series can't worth. afford, like, another episode. But try your hardest to at least get one more episode in as the ending. I mean, right. um, Sense8 did that. We're like, we don't have enough fun and we're going to we're gonna have a season finale. And yeah. It was, like, two hours long. And everyone was happy they actually got to have an ending. Right. <laughs> it ended on a match. Massive cliffhanger. Yeah, it's yeah. like when you get done with a season, there's a cliffhanger at the end, and then you have to wait like nine months for yep. the next season's like no, I wanna know what happens next. Yep, it's like I've spent, you know, like months developing, you know, this relationship with these characters. If you're watching it on like when it's coming out on TV, yeah. or if you're watching it on Netflix, it's like I've spent about twenty seven hours here. My eyes are falling out of my head, and you're <laughs> telling me seriously that I'm gonna have to wait until next season, which will never ever 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 come until like three years later it's and, like, then when yeah. it, and then when it does you're like I completely forgot what happened yeah and it's, <laughs> and it's like, like you just like took away all bullshit. the emotion and enthusiasm just gone like oh right. the only show I gave up on is 
Rick and Morty. <laughs> Dude, no. I love Rick and Morty. They make but... a season like every two years. Yeah, that's true. And though. then they just say they're going to make a semi, like a four more seasons. Isn't it? It's either I'd next love year the show, or... but I mean, it, it's just like it's been way Simpsons. too long. I just, I yeah. Are they, you think they're becoming the new Simpsons? Rick and Morty? In the, sen- in the sense where like, the show keeps going. Not in the sense of well, joke-wise. I'm saying like sense of I don't think length-wise. That because Rick and Morty, they boil it down. Like, they're like, okay, here's the show, but we're going to release, you know, it's very comedical, it's very funny, it's very satire, and it makes fun of all these tropes and bullcrap that happen in science fiction or whatever the crap. It's funny, it's good, I really enjoy Rick and Morty, it's just the wait isn't worth it. Because when I was waiting for season three to drop, and that was like two years, it was like, okay, dude, I just want to pull my hair out right now. (laughs) This is not fun. Waiting for this, waiting for this, waiting for this, and then it came out, and I still still haven't watched like half the season and I don't know why and you're going to destroy this other but right Rick and Morty so it's like right 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 like there's it. there's like mugs and hats and all this crap and everything says you know and it, like it's what like very swiggity swoody I'm going to suck your dick or whatever <laughs> like it's like okay wow Rick very funny quote <laughs> <laughs> but like no dude it's like I hate it because it's like Rick and Morty cups wow great and it's like Rick and Morty flask the actual flask that Rick drinks Tricks out of you can suck an old dad's fucking dick or whatever. It's, it's like, like it's like just shut that's up. That's cool and all, but I right. want season four. Right, right, right. It's like the or it's like get Rick's portal gun. It's, it's like, like the it's like the modern just, slash futuristic version. Just of get the, to the season already. The, uh, what was it? I'm thinking of the Dukes of Hazards almost. What? It's like the modern future version of Duke the Hazard, like the two what brothers. What the fuck are you talking about? Dukes of Hazard is about. Go with it. Okay. <laughs> but Dukes of Hazard is about rambunctious rednecks just hanging out. Oh, know? I'm thinking. No, I'm thinking of white chicks. Never mind. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. You're probably thinking of white chicks. Like that style. It's like those two guys are doing whatever. What the fuck? I don't know. Okay, you need to stop referencing things you don't know. Because, like, I was like, okay, white chicks, that's a, that's a better allegation, and that makes a little Look, more there's sense. A, like, but there's no. a lot of information in this head that has, like, memories, like, uh, like millions of shows, and it's just hard to put them somewhere. I get you. When you have like a half a day of memory, you can't get rid of the information. Like you, you wish like I think I, I could get not for remember stuff, but it's like I know it, but I don't want to place it. Right. It's like when you're, it's like dishes. Like okay, I did all the dishes, and I just go put it back. It's like okay, here we go. Great. Okay. Yeah, that yeah. was bad. So that was a bad makes sense. Anyways, in a way that I don't understand. To get out of that awkward weirdness, what about that box okay. over there? All right, let's talk about our sponsor our for sponsor this for podcast. Yeah, our sponsor is no one. Yeah, we don't have a sponsor, but right. if oh. you'd like to, please. Yeah, we, we um, would like sponsors. So we're just gonna show this in a second here, but like, yo, Dollar Shave Club hit us. Yeah, we have please, a package dude. that like, Austin no. got for from Dollar Shave Club that's. that's we're going to open up. That's pretty much everything Dollar Shave Club has to offer, excluding trial kits and trial, like, size stuff. Guys, I'd love the sponsor, but I don't want to shave my face. Yeah. Well, it's more than shaving this. I shaved actually. mine today. <coughs> there, there you go. I have Shave it. Club razors. Hey, there you go. Even, and a razor. Even though I don't, I guess. Like, grow so. much facial hair, I didn't shave at all just for this. Okay. So. So you're going to shave on camera for it? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Let's I didn't do it. shave, especially okay. for this. I need to find my keys in order to open that, but Peter, I would uh, like you to read the memory because I've heard there's literature in these. There's literature. Like, like every item comes with a little card. Okay. Or a little pamphlet that has in a show. And the problem is the battery's almost dead. Yeah, so I'm going to open this, and <laughs> Peter's going to... You better hurry. <laughs> time we don't have wasted. much time. So, Peter, I want you to do the, okay. the piece of the resistance. You can hand me all the little end cards and then show off each item to the camera. Yes. Yeah, so I'll just put the box right here on the floor because I'm going to pack it back together. Let's, uh, zoom in on that. Okay. <laughs> there. Let's, let's get a good look. I'll have it right here. All right. I'll just do the, I'll just do this. I'll just get up. You got to do the money shot. You got to aim it at the money camera. Money shot. Money shot. Money, money, money old, shot. This is old fashioned kind of on them. There's a welcome to your better bathroom. I don't know. This, you, need, you should stand up on the next to side. Money, money shot. Money shot. And there's even like a little kind of like little booklet or whatever. It's like newspaper kind of like pamphlet beforehand. This is something I've never seen before. So. 
There's gonna be a lot in this, probably. There you go. There's like, I don't know, a Dollar Shake Up um, publication in your bathroom reader. Like, they actually give you, like, little booklets to read as you're in the bathroom. Okay. I know there's a lot of stuff in there, so uh, oh. the battery's probably going to die before you end up showing it all. Do you, or do you just want to do, do this, like, a different date? Like, just no, not I'll just, just do it. Okay. Just go ahead. Let's have awkward conversation. I didn't even pack this fellas. right. Look at all this shit. Huh? Well, Look. dude, you bought everything. What are you expecting? They yeah. threw it all in there haphazardly right, well, because of that. I'm surprised, I'm surprised they couldn't. I'm surprised they fit it all in here. Oh, and even oh, it's all slimed over. It like it's all it slimy. It one of them. One of them burst. One came. of them burst. I think. It shot the goo all on you. It waffle gooed all over. <laughs> waffle gooed. So, uh, so Dollar Shave Club. Uh, we have some shave black pepper hair scalp conditioner. Yeah, this is, there's something that exploded somewhere around here. There's that. Oh, yeah. Sage there's black. the goo. There's <laughs> a hair scalp shampoo. <laughs> okay. We there's have that. some mint Sherwood body bars. There's two back. Okay. All right. We have some hand cream. Yeah, there's something open. But I don't know what it is. All right. Okay. We have some. Why does it look like caramel? Microphone. Like yeah, it, would, it would look like it would be in like a bottle of like <coughs> yeah, um, dude. caramel. We have, you get at the store. We see you like open it up and it's like Hershey's. We have boogies. <laughs> it's just like, oh, we oh. have boogies casual hair clay. Okay. Okay. All right. We have amber lavender body cleanser. Okay. I'm gonna pack this way better. This is all going really fast. This is body. This is well. We got better. Like um, we got bat. We got body cleanser. That's it, everybody. Oop. Awakening. There's a. There's I both. All this. Stuff. There's a both awakening and calming versions of body wash, and there's two different uh. ways of this. I also bought the other version of the bars. There's different bars. So there we got that. The okay. amber lavening. There we are. Oh, and then last but not least, in the shower section, in the hair section, we have the daily face cleanser. Okay, okay. All right. Now, it's not like I can like open these and squirt them on my hand. <laughs> well, look at that. Wow, I found wow, the wow. thing that opened. Apparently, it was. Oh. It was the repair serum. Repair serum. Yep. Boy, I'm. Oh, a, it's all over. Oh the boy, cap I'm opens. a. I'm gonna be a smooth man tonight. We might. We might need to get something to close this. Like, oh my god. I'm gonna be a smooth. What else you got in there? I need to tighten this before it gets worse. It's fun. Ooh, it's is that shave butter? We also. I oh, got some more. of that. You got post that shave dew good. spray. And this is the. This is lavender stuff. Whatever it was. Okay. Um, we got what shave leather. Okay. We got prep scrub. Oh. Yo, we got Windmaster lip balm. Look at that. We got. I'm sure the camera already saw that. Shave butter. We got shave butter. Shave butter. <coughs> Hey everyone, so uh, right here we have the toothbrush, uh, silver black with an extra link cap if you do travel. Uh, we have this lavender, we have the shower cloth right here, which I thought was going to be bigger, but still good. Uh, one of my Charlies, they're good for their humor. We have here lip balm, uh, two different versions. Um, well, technically there was. Um, there's one version right here, and we have our shave products right here in blue, and we have our shower stuff in purple, and we have our, in light aqua green, we have our toothbrushes, and in, <coughs> in section wise, purple is shower, blue is shave, uh, orange kind of caramel kind of color would be for skincare. We have hair care products in black style, and we have one of our trousers in gray, and then the toothpaste in light aqua green. Um, I don't know how these will work out, but I will let you know in the follow-up podcast of how these will do based on my experience, and I might even get some trial kits for everyone else. So we'll do that. And with that, I'd end this on Dollar Shave Club. Sweet. Darn right. There's that. All right. All right. That's going to end it here for this podcast, episode six. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching this episode. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the crazy length for this one, but, yeah. you know, had a lot to talk about, I suppose. Like and subscribe. Like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like the video, still like it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, get us out there, dude. Yell us at, our, at your friends, even if it's about the cringe, man. Like, let's be real. <laughs> like, yeah. Dollar Shave there. Club, sponsor us. We got all your great products here. Yeah, man. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next podcast. See ya.